Wingrip AIO Installation and User Overview Wingrip is the full protection system of choice for MROs and aircraft manufacturers around the world. Whatever the activity or maintenance procedure, Latchway's wing grip systems provide a simple and effective solution to wing, stabilizer and fuselage access. Both Airbus and Boeing use wing grip during the aircraft manufacturing process and it is also specified as an approved tool within their aircraft maintenance manuals. Additionally, military organizations use the systems extensively and Wingrip has NATO stock numbers for many aircraft platforms. Tested to exceed all required standards and suitable for use as both full restraint and full arrest, the Wingrip system provides the ultimate full protection package for operators worldwide. Installation Procedure the Wingrip All-in-One, or AIO, is so called because it requires no external power supply and can be operated entirely by the portable gas bottle. The system can be used with either a hanger air supply or portable bottle, which can be simply recharged from any nitrogen trolley. Details on how to correctly fill the Wingrip AIO portable bottle will be shown later in this film. Before taking the wing grip AIO to the working area, plug the air supply or bottle into the wing grip AIO. If you're using a regular shop air supply instead of the bottle, it should be attached to the air inlet pressure connector. To confirm correct operation, the supply pressure indicator should then turn green. The horn may sound momentarily before cancelling and the needle on the supply pressure gauge will register in the green section. Move the wing grip AIO to the working area and ensure a good seal can be made by avoiding unsealed joints and fasteners. Ensuring the wing grip AIO's rubber seal is flat on the surface, slide the switch to the on position. The horn will sound continuously as a vacuum is created under the wing grip AIO. The warning horn can be overridden by holding in the horn stop button. This also conserves air if the portable air bottle is being used. Within 20 to 30 seconds, the wing grip AIO will be attached to the surface and the vacuum anchor gauge will be registering in the green section. The system vacuum gauge will now also be registering in the green section. To test the vacuum, Press and hold the Vacuum Anchor Test button for 10 seconds. If a drop in vacuum is detected, turn the Wing Grip AIO off, check the rubber seal and surface for any problems, reposition and retest. If the vacuum level drops yet again, remove the Wing Grip AIO and have it inspected. If the Vacuum Anchor Gauge remains registering in the green section, the system is now ready for use. When using a fully charged portable air bottle, there will be sufficient supply for approximately six hours of continual use. Connecting to the Wing Grip AIO Only connect to the Wing Grip AIO using a Wing Grip work positioning rope connected to the rear dorsal ring of a full body harness. Adjust the rope so it is kept taut when moving around the working area. To prevent metal-on-metal -metal contact, Ensure the plastic coated carabiner is attached to the wing grip AIO's energy absorber ring with the carabiner gate facing upwards away from the surface. If the alarm sounds with an intermittent tone, this indicates that the air supply has been interrupted or the portable air bottle needs recharging. Ensure the user is in a safe position before attempting to resolve the problem. The Wing Grip AIO will still have sufficient vacuum for 20 minutes safe use, allowing the user to find and remedy the problem. Should the portable air bottle need recharging, remove the gas bottle from the Wing Grip AIO by lifting up the collar around the connector and pressing in the release button simultaneously. Removing the Wing Grip AIO. To remove the Wing Grip AIO, Firstly ensure that the user is in a position of safety. Once this is done, the wing grip AIO can be deactivated by sliding the switch to the OFF position. 
Allow the pad vacuum gauge to drop, which may take a few seconds, before attempting to lift the wing grip AIO from the surface. Attaching an additional wing grip vacuum anchor pad. The wing grip AIO is capable of supplying a vacuum to an additional wing grip vacuum anchor pad. The use of a second wing grip pad increases the working area and also allows the user to step stone along the aircraft by moving one wing grip pad whilst staying safely attached to another. Attaching an additional wing grip pad will not affect the vacuum under the wing grip AIO if it is already attached to the aircraft. To connect the two wing grip pads, firstly activate the wing grip AIO as described earlier in this film. When the additional wing grip pad has been placed suitably on the surface, slide the switch on. The horn on the wing grip AIO will sound continuously, confirming the vacuum is being created under the additional wing grip pad. When the horn has stopped and the vacuum gauge on the additional wing grip pad is in the green section, the vacuum on the additional wing grip pad must be checked. To do this, disconnect the hose from the additional wing grip pad and press the pin in on the end of the male connector for 10 seconds. At any sign of a drop in vacuum, do not use the wing grip pad. Turn the wing grip pad off, check the surface, seal and hose for problems and retest. If the vacuum anchor gauge level drops again, remove the wing grip pad and have it inspected. If the vacuum anchor gauge doesn't drop, reconnect the hose and the additional wing grip pad is safe to use. Refilling the wing grip AIO portable air bottle. The wing grip AIO portable air bottle can be filled from most high pressure nitrogen or air sources. The maximum pressure the wing grip AIO portable bottle should be filled to is 300 bar, 4350 psi. When filling, ensure that all fittings are clean and in a good state of repair with no damage or signs of wear. Connect the adapter supplied with the wing grip AIO to the nitrogen or air source. Remove the dust cap from the air bottle and attach the adapter by pulling back on the release collar. Slowly increase the supply pressure and gradually fill the air bottle. This should take around one to two minutes. When the portable air bottle is filled, turn off the supply. Use the purge button on the adapter to release residual pressure in the connection hose. When the pressure gauge on the adapter has returned to zero, the air bottle can be safely removed. Replace the dust cap on the wing grip AIO air bottle. User guidelines. The wing grip AIO is for individual use only. The maximum user weight is 140 kilograms or 310 pounds, including tools and equipment. The wing grip AIO should only be used wearing a full body full arrest harness with a rear dorsal connection. Harness should conform to all relevant local standards. Only connect to the wing grip AIO pads energy absorber connector. Adjust the wing grip work positioning rope so you can perform your work whilst remaining tight enough to restrain you from falling. Ensure personal protective equipment is fit for use and does not show any signs of wear and tear. The wing grip AIO can be used outside in the rain or on wet surfaces, but do not place on contaminated surfaces. The wing grip AIO should never be used on a porous surface. Always position the wing grip AIO in the center of the wing or fuselage. Wing grip AIOs can be attached to both horizontal and vertical sections of the aircraft. Periodic inspections must be carried out by a competent person in accordance with Latchway's maintenance procedures.